beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly reading for May 2nd to the 8th. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Check your other chart placements out on my channel. I do have a bonus channel for my beautiful Leos where you get all bonus readings. You can find the link for that in the description box below and in the comments section. Also, if you're interested in winning a free reading with me, Leo, find what you need to do in the description box below as well. So let's see here, Leo, what's coming through for you. Oh, we have an intention card, the honoring path. All right, Leo. So you are definitely heading down the path of honoring yourself with this intention card. You're in a position of respecting yourself, having self-awareness, self-assurance, and you are going to be receiving recognition for this. Possibly it's been very difficult for you to honor yourself in certain situations with certain people dealing with certain hurts, but you are coming into the energy of knowing that you're beautiful, knowing that your light shines brightly no matter what, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what's going on in your life. So let's see what else is coming in. Ooh, ooh, extra ooh. Okay, you have a people card. New supportive connections. All right, Leo. So as you continuously honor yourself, you are attracting in very specific energies. Oh, this is going to be an interesting read with you getting that people card up there. All right. New supportive connections coming in here for you, Leo. Be very aware. Pay very close attention to the new people that come into your life this week. They are going to be very important to the new path that you are on, to your path to growth and your path to continuously honor yourself. Some of you, I felt like you weren't getting honored by certain people and these new supportive energies are going to come in for you this week and kind of make you see how voluntarily... How, how do I want to say this? How you were almost voluntarily putting yourself in certain situations and connections that weren't honoring you because these new energies are going to come in and really show you how to be, who's supportive to you, how people can be supportive towards you. I mean, some of you could be that um, some of your current connections, your existing ones, love, family, friends, become more supportive to you as you continuously honor yourself. Mm, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's see. Let's get a unicorn for you here, Leo. It's always y'all readings. It's always you guys. I always get these very interesting cards together. Let's see. Oh, that was a weird cut. Oh, wow. You got the Mother Mary card. Mother Mary and the unicorns are blessing you. So whatever, whomever is coming into your life, back into your life, being better with you is a huge blessing for you with Mother Mary coming in. Ooh, pay very close attention. Let's get one more unicorn. Spirit, this is for Leo. Wisdom. There you go. That's why you have the honoring path. Act with wisdom and people will respect you. Yeah. So for a lot of you Leos, you're sitting on a position of either you honor me and see me for who I am and what I bring to the table, or I'm wise enough to know that there will be better people that come around, better experiences that present themselves to me that will bring me the respect the value and the appreciation that I'm looking for. Some of you, you're sitting in an energy of wisdom and spirit's been waiting for you to do this for certain existing connections to get better. Um, but we'll see about that when we get the tarot and the specifics of what's going on here. But let's get your <clears throat> affirmation for the week. Some of you, you know, you may have been in difficult situations that gave you no choice but to learn to honor yourself because these people weren't honoring you. 
definitely can make a definitely can meet somebody that puts you on a path to abundance and work as well. So this is your affirmation card. There you go. Every day I bring radical self-love to my mind, body, and spirit. Yeah, so your energy of self-love, appreciation, and honoring self is attracting in beautiful energies for you here, Leo. So let's see what it's all about. So for this weekly, we are setting it up in this way. We're going to get the overall energy. We'll clarify. We'll get what's coming towards you. Clarify. And we'll get the outcome for the week and clarify. So Spirit, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the week of May 2nd to the 8th. Give me the overall energy for Leo. What's coming towards Leo. And the outcome for the week for Leo. All right, here we go. The overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. What's coming towards you is the Three of Swords. And the outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. What is this? All right, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Cups as the overall energy for Leo. Clarify the Ten of Cups as the overall energy. Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Cups. It's like there was something that was really making you happy or you felt like you could find happiness here, but you feel like you have kind of no choice but to leave this situation and, you know, see if new supportive people can come in or better experiences. It's like something has changed in the course of, like, happiness. Why is the Three of Swords what's coming towards Leo? Temperance, Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Oh, man. Okay, what is going on here? So what's coming towards you is unfortunately somebody who has hurt you. Um, It's like this person like walked away from you and then they like made a U-turn here in the overall energy. Eight of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune. It's like... This person is making a U-turn, like literally a U-turn. It's like, Leo, do you see me walking away? Do you see me not caring about you? And like, I don't know if some of you are not chasing this person and giving them a feeling of rejection or what, but it's like somebody's making a U-turn here. And with Temperance, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords, it's like this person is all of a sudden, after hurting you, wanting to make peace with you. Wanting to be supportive. Wanting to talk. Wanting to be peaceful. And I feel like some of that's why this is the outcome. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why the heck the Three of Swords was coming your way. Okay, so I want to say a couple different things before I clarify this outcome card. Some of you, Leos, somebody walked away from you um, and like they're making a U-turn and they're kind of like, all right, Leo, I'm here. You you honored and respected yourself and didn't chase me in the way I thought you were going to chase me. I'm back. I don't know. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you Leos as well, during this disassociation or whatever the heck happened here... There's either like new love or friends or family that are very supportive to you right now. And it's kind of like all of a sudden this person wants to be supportive and back and good. And it's like going to come out of nowhere because they were gone or seemingly so gone. What the heck is this? I thought it was new supportive connections. I mean, some of you, you may have actually, like, decided to say, you know what, no, I want to set myself up for better energies. I'm going to honor myself and not let somebody who is playing games back in. 
clarify the seven of pentacles here for leo outcome for the week because it's like you're just staring at what this person is doing and you're like what do i do some of you you've been waiting for this energy to be better or to be on this level with you or to want to make things right clarify the seven of pentacles for leo's outcome of the week Seven of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Emperor. Yeah. So this person is going to want to reconcile with you. Either you feel like you have better energies around you that you'd rather um, give your time and energy to, friends, family, other love, whatever the case may be. Um, or you're just really defensive towards this person's reconciliation-like energy. You do have 333 three, three here. Definitely could have been a third-party situation or you felt like so. But you look very defensive towards letting this person back in. Um, why is a Knight of Swords here and what's coming towards Leo? What is this person saying to Leo? Eight of Wands. Oh, they're saying a lot. Oh, man. What the heck? What what happened to Noosa? I'm like, I'm like staring at that card and I'm like, what? I mean, I feel like for a lot of you, you may already have, like there could have been a break between you and this person where in between this break, there was new supportive connections that came in and honored you a lot better. And it's kind of like once this person felt that loss of you or that like you're not chasing them or something like that, it's like here they come with all this communication and all this like reconciliation like energy and wanting to be with you and wanting to come back around. And it's kind of like, uh, I'm honoring myself with these new friends or these new lovers that are in. And now that I'm in a process of trying to move on, now you're here. So I do feel that way. Because why would it be the Three of Swords coming your way if it's not somebody who caused you this sense of pain with this energy of the overall as the eight of cups the wheel of fortune and the four of cups it's like somebody expected you to chase them or somebody expected you to beg or do this that and the other maybe you did for a little bit maybe you gave up maybe i don't know what the case is but let's clarify the outcome more three of cups emperor seven of wands three of cups emperor why is this the outcome six of wands so i mean like the attention from this person i guess feels nice they are coming with a lot of communication but this person likes to have control over the situation and a lot of you leos i feel like don't like that or like you want to share like you don't want it to be like one person has control over the other clarify the six of wands the overall six of cups I miss you. I love you. I still care about you. This, this, that, and the other. I feel like others of you, Leos, you are in a process of, like, seeing... I mean, this could be a friend that, you know, you know, friend breakups hurt even more sometimes in love. This definitely could be a friend sort of energy. This is directly coming from an energy that hurt you. And I feel like for some of you, Leos, honestly... You may be on that honoring path of that intention card and just say, you know what? If I let go of you, there's got to be better people that come in my life. Like, there has to be. Like, I feel like this person was so difficult to deal with and so hurtful towards you that you're kind of like, whether, like, they're coming back around with this, oh my god, let's be back together, or they're just coming around with some sort of communication or just not letting you go... You're in a position right now with the seven of pentacles is like, there's got to be better out there. Like, there's no way or something's got to give here. Oh, right. So somebody's not letting you move on here, Leo, despite them walking away from you and leaving you. So it could be a case of a narcissistic energy. And that's probably why you have wisdom up there, too, because spirit wants you to be wise when this person and energy comes in and realize, are they a supportive connection to your life? Or is this person blocking 
the supportive energies that could be coming into your life or more of them or better of them. So there's a pretty big thinking process you're going to have to do here with this energy that is, I feel like, driving you a little bit crazy. They're going to want to talk. They're going to want to work things out. They're going to want to reconcile. They're going to want to emperor step up. But at what risk to your mental health is letting this person back in going to do for you? Or staying with this energy going to do for you? Or being this person's friend going to do for you? I feel a very weird need to get like another card from like a different deck for some reason. And of course it's for the Leos. And of course I'm already at 15 minutes. But I don't know. Like they be, they're like saying something. So let's get another one of these. What is going on here? Why do we have the honoring path and new supportive connections? Happy success. Hmm. You know, maybe you had to go on the path of honoring yourself for this person to come back in and to now chase you. An energy card. Letting go. Give me one more. transformation. So some of you, you needed to let this person just go. Let them do what they wanted to do and go where they wanted to go just for them to realize that they want you. Okay. Others of you, I mean, you will have a much better transformative, beautiful energy, feeling much more happy success and letting this energy go, but it's probably very difficult here. Seems like a struggle. All right. So y'all probably know what this is about. If this is about love, we're about to clarify with the Oracle. So let's see what we got. In terms of Zodiac signs, you have Aries. You have Sagittarius. Really could be dealing with anybody. You have 333 here as well. Spirit, this is for Leo in terms of love for the week. We have material world, we have family, and we have new direction. So this person may have used excuses that they were busy with work, this, this, that, and the other. Um, this person, maybe you share a family with them, maybe they have a family. Clarify this for Leo and love for the week. On a material world, we have commitment. On family, we have unawakened. And on new direction, we have devotion. So there they are, wanting to give you their time and energy. Or in a new direction, there's people that are going to give you more of their time and energy. Clarify this one more time for Leo in terms of romantic love for May 2nd to the 8th. On commitment, we have, hold on, Leo, you got a card on the ground. I have to reshuffle. Not all the cards were in. Spirit, please show me for Leo, May 2nd to the 8th. So on commitment, we have offer. There it is. On unawakened, we have stuck. And on devotion, we have inner child. Yeah, like I said, this attention or this person giving you their time and energy now is going to feel good. But for how long? Others of you, there is a better direction that you can go down the honoring path of letting go to the people that are unsupported to you to aid in your transformation towards success, towards a better commitment, a better person. That is what I got here for you, Leo. Oh my gosh, what a reading. Thank you for being here and for watching. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to y'all soon. And bye now. Sorry, I don't know if I said bye. I'm like trying to see my hand over here. There it is. Bye.